Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So, Prankster Comet has appeared in a certain galaxy. I didn't even see which one, actually. And I have decided that I would like to hone my skills in Super Mario Galaxy a little bit more before going and actually doing that. So, it's going to be back off to the fountain, and it's going to be off to this pole star, and it's going to be the Space Junk Galaxy that I've returned to. Let's fly off to this galaxy. Alright. Mario. I don't know why I just said Mario. Anyway, the Space Drunk Galaxy, Camilla's airship attack is going to be what we're doing. Okay, I remember this one. This was a pain. Hmm. It's not really a pain. It's going to be a pain because I don't know what I'm doing, though. Anyway, let's see. So, Camilla's airship attack. This is going to be a somewhat different opening location to this galaxy. And the thing is actually possible. I saw once a glitch where it's possible to long jump at precisely the right like position and somehow end up inside the starship and I don't know if it's actually possible to get out once you've done that without like restarting the level but anyway let's see this is an airship obviously it's not particularly space junkish but it's an airship all the same and that is a red white and a blue star bit and let's see these are star bunnies which I believe we have seen yeah jump and spin or you can just long jump whoa right on your head Alright, so I had to jump and spin anyway to prevent myself from going and flying off into the abyss. Um, let's see. Is this uh, where I want to go? Yeah, that's where I want to go. That's going to be the Sling Star. Pull Star. Uh, launch Star. Sling Star. I can't tell the difference. Anyway. So screwing on that screw. Sounds very weird. Is going to go and uh, make the screw come out of the ground and launch a bunch of star bits into the air. Let's see. I would like to go and take this... And apparently I would not like to go and take that. I didn't know you could ground pound while holding one of those things, but okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go and get a, a few practice swings in with this uh, the shell. Because that's totally not how we're going to be facing the boss or anything like that by uh, grabbing shells. And smash it into that chest here. Alright, excellent. That's a coin. And let's come up here. You can go and throw your fire somewhere else. Ow. Right in my face. Well, I somehow did damage to you, which I guess is nice. And I like how those flags are rippling there. I imagine that's uh, making the Wii's GPU work quite a bit with that rippling flag effect. But anyway, yeah, that's the sort of thing that I think about when I see like fancy animations. Is uh, how hard it makes the GPU work. I don't, don't, don't question me. Whatever. So this is going to be a Goomba. Goomba, get out of my way. I don't want you. And that is more star bits. And the Goomba is going to go for another head spinny adventure because I need to get you out of the way. This is a Koopa. Thank you, Koopa. It's going to throw you. Direct hit. It's going to throw you. And that's going to be another direct hit. Oh, I thought it was going to... Oh, no. Thank... No. Do you mind? All right, thank you. That was a direct hit. Um... Before I continue, what is in these treasure chests? That is going to be a red shell, which I believe is going to home in on its target. Eh, that didn't really home in. I could have used that to, uh, I suppose, smash one of the, uh, the Octagoomba things more easily. Or I could have used it to open one of these chests. It doesn't really matter. That is going to be a life mushroom. Alright, perfect. And I would not really like to go into... Uh, Deal with those Koopas. Thanks. Whoop! Almost fell off. Like, I felt like my, like, heart skipped beat when I almost fell off that level, and I don't know why, because it's not... I've had closer calls, really. Whatever. You know how sometimes you feel like your insides freeze when you, like, flinch, kind of? Yeah, that's what just happened. Anyway, this is Camilla, who's a giant Magic Koopa. You're a Magic Koopa, right? Yeah, you're a Magic Koopa. And I have 6 HP, which is nice. I would like a regular Koopa, however, because... Oh, all right, or I'll take this. And uh, I can use this to smash you in the face. That was a close call if ever I saw one. Let's see. We can go and uh, attract the green as a, as a means to hit you with a shell, because it's going to turn into a shell, because that makes sense. And let's see. You're going to go and cast more fire. I think this one's going to be a green shell. Thank you very much. And if you can hold still, that's two. 
And since three is the magic number in Nintendo games, I believe we need one more. Alright, great. You're just gonna send off some distractions. So that's, uh... That's some HP restoration right there. And I lose it right away. Perfect. Come on, thank you very much. That was not what I meant to do. I would like to get some more of this. Thank you very much. Just so that I don't lose this life mushroom, I'm going to go and uh, use this as well. Alright. There's the shell. If you can not summon any more helpers. Ooh. Did I hit you at the same time I took damage? I totally did. Well, good game, Camilla. And your staff is going to explode into a power star. And let's do this. Yeah, my voice just doesn't go that high. I feel like of all things, that's going to be something that screws up my audio as well as trying to go that high on my voice. Anyway, hello, Polari. I feel like every time I try to say Polari, I almost say Polaris, which is like a YouTube network, an MCN. Um, if anybody these days even knows what an M MCN is, they're, uh, the, they used to be back in the day the only way... Ooh, cool, that's a prankster combo. I'm not going to do that because I suck at this game. Um, they used to be back in the day the only way that people were able to make money off of YouTube, and now that's open to anybody, so the MCNs are kind of losing their grip, I suppose. But anyway, it's a bit of YouTube history. Battle Rock Barrage from the Battle Rock Galaxy. Okay, and this is going to be a, uh, a mission, and it's going to be dog, excuse me a minute. So when you have a dog and when you're home alone and you hear a loud noise coming from upstairs, you have to assume that someone's getting in trouble. When you don't have a dog and you're home alone and you hear a loud noise from upstairs, you have to assume your house is haunted. Anyway, let's see, this is coins, because coins are fun. I'm not too interested in the coins, actually. I'm looking more for these pull star chips. Hello, Astro Goomba. You are called Astro Goomba. You are called Astro Goomba, right? Because I've been calling you that this, like, entire time. And I don't know if that's actually what you're called. Now, if I can jump on you... Oh, come on. Let me stomp on your butt. Thank you very much. That's a coin. That's going to restore my HP from what I lost earlier. Uh, these guys are annoying. They will make you spin. They don't do damage, but they will make you spin. And that is annoying, because it throws you off the path that you wanted to be on. Especially in platformer games. Not being on the path that you wanted to be on is uh, quite a pain. Anyway, let's go and run this way around the planet. And that is going to go and uh, pick up the last star chip and create some... I don't even know what that was, but that's going to create some pull stars. And we can go and do this. Flick the, re flick the Wii remote. And we're off. Excellent. Next little area. Are you gonna, like, shoot lasers too if I were to hold still for long enough? You probably would have. Anyway. Let's see. There's a screw. Screwing the screw, and that's going to create this... this that's going to cause this platform to move. And there's gonna be these cannonballs shooting off, oh, shooting off all over the place. Hello, Starbits. Nice of you to drop in. Come on, I want to pick you up, thank you. Especially because I don't have anything better to do while this thing chugs along and it's like snail-like pace. Alright. Let's see. So, careful. Thank you very much. Coins. There's no real point in collecting coins if you don't have, like, below 100 HP, below 100% HP. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's see. You can black backflip over here, because that's how you play this game. And... Let's see what I get for this. See if I'm able to... Oh, cool. That's nice. That wasn't any music notes or anything, but... It's nice to have, I suppose. And avoiding the cannonballs. Because it's not like you would want to not avoid the cannonballs. I don't know. I have 60 star bits already. When did I collect that many? Oop. I, and here I was wondering if I was going to be able to get through this without hitting anything. Anyway. We're at the end. See the power star is uh, locked underneath this glass window thing. Can you stop... I want my HP back. Thank you very much. There we go. Alright, so I suppose if I really wanted to, I could smash some of these glass things also, but I'm going to try and not do that, because that's just going to be a waste of time. Now, let's see, um, I guess it's just in the way, really. Yeah, I'll, I'll smash some of these if they're in the way. Come on. Bullet Bill. Thank you very much. And I'm going to run over this way. Did I lose you? I think I might have lost you. Alright, that's better. Now you're following me. Smashing the power star, and there we go! Alright. 
Come on. And we have another power star. How long, have I, how long have I been recording? It's only been 11 minutes. I'll do another one. Especially because if I recall, there's a, a hidden power star somewhere around here as well. Which I may want to be collecting for later. Do I want to worry about that now? I don't think I want to worry about that now. I do want to worry about that now because that's what I do. So anyway, I now have 364 star bits total. I've discovered a new galaxy. I think that's going to be one of the uh, the miniature ones. Is it? Polari! Enemy base spotted. Oh, it's the enemy base. Cool. What are they doing there? Your guess is as good as mine, good sir. Anyway, let's go back here. And let's, uh... It's funny. This enemy base has been spotted, but this, this thing here hasn't. Weird. Anyway, the space drink galaxy is gone. But I'm going to worry about that another day. I'm going to go fly off to the Battle Rock once again. Alright, so I was apparently mistaken. There's not a secret star in there, at least not right now. Well, I just wasted a huge amount of time. Anyway, I uh, got a couple more star bits, so that's something at least. I would not like to save my game. Let's go back and uh, go into an actual... Oh, hey, there's a uh, the Speedy Comet is in orbit once again. Do I want to do that, or do I want to go to the Battle Rock? You know what, let's do the Speedy Comet. I feel like doing the Speedy Comet. I'm probably going to die a bunch, because, uh, again, skills at this game for the umpteenth time. But, let's do this. Speedy Comet's in orbit, so I'm going to be forced into this mission. And this is going to be Pull, pull Star Path Speedrun. Fun. I have, I believe, five minutes to do this mission? Something like that. And the whole screen is tinted red because, like, urgency and stuff like that. Anyway, by the way, I, as much as I like the music for uh, Space Drunk Galaxy ordinarily, I really like- four minutes. I really like the music for Space Drunk Galaxy, uh... Speedrun, or the speedrun comment in general, I guess. Um, I'll be quiet for a minute so you can listen to it if you don't know what it sounds like already, but um, yeah, it is definitely one of the. Uh, I've been saying pretty much the entire game that the music in Super Mario Galaxy is amazing, and this is no exception. So let's see. Five. Five, thank you. Not screwing up. And fortunately, the timer stops counting down when uh, there's a little mini cutscene going on. So that's something. Uh, let's see, can I get all these? I missed the last one again. Perfect. Well, let's see, it would be best if I don't mess around with, um... It would be best if I don't mess around with shattering crystals and stuff. Let's see, let's do this. And let's do this. No. Wasting time. Do not like wasting time. This, thank you very much. And this. And... Let's see, let's do this. Hopefully this will be one of the faster parts of this run. Because this is a fairly uh, easy... Pull stars are easy. It's like other aspects of platforming that are hard. At least I think so, anyway. I can't speak for anybody else, obviously. Um, let's see, okay, so we're going to be down here by the spiders. And you can go and be... Jumping however you're jumping, I guess. And I have to go and free the Toad Brigade. One. Two. Three. Come on, three. And four. And this is going to cause uh, Captain Toad to go and come down. And I have two minutes to go and collect all the, uh, the Silver Stars. Where'd my glasses go? I don't know. Where did your glasses go? So we can go and not talk to the Captain because I don't feel like wasting time. And we can go and sling off in this direction. And let's see, if I can not die, because if I will die, ordinarily, during this mission, if you die, you'll just restart at this platform at the beginning. But if you die during the speed run, you will, um, you will have to do the whole thing over, which is not fun. And I have had to do that before, and I can definitely attest to the fact that it is not fun. It doesn't take that long, really, but having to do anything over, it's kind of annoying. All right, I was afraid I was gonna fall off there for a minute. I have a minute 30 left to get one thing and get back to the beginning. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so I have a minute 24 to get back to the star. To the to the star where it's gonna be jumping to to the beginning. There we go. Okay, come on. Be careful, Mario. Definitely do not want to have to do this over again. Uh. I'm like taking my time more than I really should. 
really than I should feel like I have to anyway. Because dying and stuff. And we're safe! And I almost go flicking my arms apart like a, a baseball umpire or something doing the safe call. Anyway, that is a star, and I think I'm going to end this video off here. So, what do I usually say at the end of videos? I don't remember. But anyway, uh, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed that. For once, Rosalina is not interrupting us, telling us to go back to the front of the observatory and causing me to have to run all the way back to the fountain. And I will see you all later. Oh wait, I have to hit the A button.